there is unfinished business. It's not somewhat, it's definite. Uh, you know, we know what the job is. We know what happened last year. We understand what happened last year. And we know that, you know, we can't take anybody lightly. You know, and this year we are the underdog. So we do know that we have to work. We do know that we have to come out and be perfect. We do know that we have to come out and be detailed and be the hungrier team. They get home field in two weeks' time, but in that one, when the Red Black scenarios meet again, it's win or go on. Sudden death. Ottawa, Toronto, November 2nd. I'm so proud of you guys, okay? We knew we were going to come in here and find a win. Now, it wasn't what we exactly wanted to be at the end, but we earned that opportunity. Okay. Got a home playoff game, okay? Yeah. So we got our second goal. All right, but the ultimate goal is right from us. We got to clean up. When it comes to playoff football, guys, a few plays can f us. Right, or a few great plays can help us. Okay, that's just gonna come down a few plays. So let's make sure we have that laser focus getting into it. But proud of you guys, you guys fought hard, we played physical. Okay, and one thing I always ask you guys, PFF play physical. We had that, okay, we made plays too. The routine plays, consistent. All right, proud of you guys, get a break. W very let's go. Catch number 400 for Demaris Daniels. And it's Jake Ceresna again. Who's call Linton McManus? The season itself is a big testament to our leadership across the board, not just our captains, but our leadership at every position. The coaches, you know, top down. I think that uh from the very beginning, we knew what type of team we had. You know, we obviously took some time to get to where we are right now, but um, just the way that we approached every day from the very beginning, from training camp to, you know, this week, this, uh, now we're in the playoffs, it's, it's always been the same. It's been consistent. And it's been the same messaging. Uh, I don't think that we've ever doubted ourselves. I think that we've approached every week as a new week and gave it that respect. Like, we've just grown together as a team. Um, it, it's nice to see us come together at the right time and really gel and uh, really see that that common goal that we're going for and uh, you know, really try to put that in play. It kind of took us a little bit to get the ball rolling and you know just the highlights for me I would say is the way we compete you know and the way we just continue to fight no matter the circumstance or no matter what's going on. But the lows is you know those go hand in hand with that so you know some of the games that you know we haven't won as many games as we would like to but man, we fight and you know, we always just stick together as a group. I'd say consistency. I think um, we've been up and down. Sometimes we play really good games, sometimes we haven't. So I think our biggest thing is just showing up, making sure when we go out there and we play our best game, we don't feel like anyone can beat us. So we just gotta make sure we do that and we show up every single day, every single game now, especially with the playoffs coming up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talking about man, talking about man. The three of us, man, we we have a lot of fun, and we all kind of lead in our own way. Um, it's always nice to have that balance. Um, I think that you know, just our, our dynamics as a whole kind of mesh well together. Um, I'm kind of a laid back type of guy. Wins the energy bug, and then Jake is kind of the, the tweener. They welcome me with open arms and. I feel like we're a family now, coming here on towards the end of the season. Everyone feels like my brother. It's been a great relationship. Like I said, they opened me with open arms. Couldn't ask for anything else from, you know, I'm a guy coming from a different team and, and they didn't really have to, you know, bring me in as their family right away. But I feel like they did, you know, day one, you know, my fiance goes and hangs out with, with Didi's fiance as well all the time. So like our whole, our families come together all the time. We're always hanging out together. It's a big thing. Like I said, this leadership that we have on this team uh, coming from all types of different angles and, and from different people. And, you know, Jake was a great addition to the team. You know, he's been amazing on the field, amazing in the locker room. And it's, it's not, you know, a day that he comes in and he's in a bad mood. It's not a day that he doesn't try to help somebody or, you know, try to better or help coach or try to make something simpler for, you know, some of the younger d line the younger players on the team. So, you know, it's been, it's been great having him, honestly. And, you know, DD is the same, you know, just trying to help out where he can and, and just that leadership and voice of reason and understanding and, you know, we help each other uh, off the field, man. It's a close group, you know, we're starting to do things more together as a family, you know, uh, players and teammates and, you know, getting the families together like that. So, you know, it's growing. 
Well, the regular season comes to a close, and now we shift gears to the postseason. And for the fourth consecutive year, the Double Blue will play for a chance of winning the Grey Cup. But first, it will be the Eastern Semifinal against a team they know far too well, the Ottawa Red Blacks. It's one of those games that we got to put our best foot forward. We're going to put our best foot forward, and we're going to approach every day that way. Looking forward to getting out here in front of these fans and, you know, putting on a show for them. It's that next part of the season where you have to take it up a notch. And it's not like any other game because it's, it's do or die. It's win or go home. It's everything is on the line. That mindset is, is everything. Having that dog mentality all year uh, doesn't really change anything, but uh, I want to make sure that it does radiate off of me that this shit is not a game, that this is serious. And this is where we all come up with for. This is where you leave your families for six, six months or so. You know, this is what you play the game for, to be the best, to win championships. I know the fans will be rocking. I know it's going to be live. Um, that's why we wanted this home game so bad, so we can fill up the BMO field. And, you know, just the energy will be crazy. Everybody will be ready to play. you got to treat every game as important. So I think it's business as usual. Don't make the moment bigger than it needs to be. But just make sure that you show up and that you're ready to go and, and play your best football as well. So, like, obviously it's winner go home. So that, that that's that's going to be in the back of your mind no matter how much you try to keep it out of it. And, and you just got to make sure every single play you go out there and play your best, one play at a time. And I know it's going to be a good matchup. I know they're going to come with their A game. So we got to make sure that we show up also because it's going to be it's going to be a fight to the death and, and the winner moves on. Let's go win on three. One, two, three. Win. Let's go.